You can tell him I said it. It's a disturbing headline. Two paramedics charged with murder after being accused of severely mistreating a man they were supposed to be saving. According to the coroner's report, the man stopped breathing after he was strapped to the gurney face down. Les Trent spoke with an EMS crew about how they would have handled the situation. How on earth could such a thing happen? That's the question swirling today after two paramedics are charged with murdering a man they were called in to help. It's the police. Police video starts as cops in Springfield, Illinois, respond to an emergency call that a resident is having hallucinations due to alcohol withdrawal. You need an ambulance? The officers call for an ambulance. One paramedic enters the room. He was up on his bed and he just rolled off onto the floor. Sit up now. I am not playing with you. You're going to have to walk because we ain't carrying you. The cops help the man to the waiting ambulance. He has difficulty walking, but makes it outside. Then with a slam, he was placed face down on the gurney and strapped in. He died at the hospital. The coroner said the cause of death was asphyxia due to prone face-down restraint on a paramedic transportation by tightened straps across back and lower body. Paramedics Peggy Finley and Peter Cadigan have been charged with first-degree murder. Finley's lawyer tells Inside Edition, there's no physical action that my client committed that was responsible for that gentleman's death. Paramedics across the nation are paying close attention to the case, including these EMS instructors. Would you ever put a patient on a gurney on their stomach? No, I would not. And why not? Because you run the risk of having them face down, they can aspirate, they won't be able to breathe if they vomited, for example. The attorney for the man's family said in a statement that there is no excuse for the actions of the EMS workers who showed neither care nor compassion.